In this video lesson, we're going to go through writing formulas for ionic compounds, given the names. Reviewing ionic compounds are formed by the bonding of a positive ion and a negative ion, usually between nonmetals and metals. Nonmetals typically form negative ions, and metals typically form positive ions. To write the formulas for ionic compounds, we use similar ideas as we did when we did with covalent compounds. First example we're going to go through here is for sodium chloride. So write the symbol, chemical symbol, for the first ion first. So sodium is Na, and we know it has a plus charge from the combining capacities found on your periodic table. The second ion is chlorine, which is Cl, which we know has a minus charges. So we can crisscross the numbers or charges on the ions. So we go Na plus, which is plus 1, and Cl minus 1. So crisscross would be 1 down here and 1 down here. So simplifying the numbers, we would end up with NaCl. The examples we're going to go through are here. So the first thing I'm going to do is underneath the names is just write the symbol for the element and the charge on it or the combining capacity. So tin is SN4 plus and oxide is O2 minus. So SN4 plus and O2 minus. And applying the principles of crisscross would be the 4 down here and the 2 down here. And then simplifying my numbers, so SN2O4. Or we can write it as... SNO2. Potassium oxide would be K plus 1. Oxide is 2 minus. So K plus 1, O2 minus. Crisscross would be 1 and 2. So my formula would be K2O. Next example is iron 3. So iron 3 plus. And phosphate is PO4 3 minus. So Fe3 plus PO4, whoops, 3 minus, and crisscross, we would just have Fe PO4. Next one would be ammonium sulfate, NH4 plus, and SO4, 2 minus. So NH4 plus 1, SO4, 2 minus, so I put a 2 there and a 1 there. Now because I have two of a polyatomic ion, I'm actually going to put them in brackets. NH42 plus SO4. Continuing on, mercury 1 is Hg plus 1, and sulfide is S2 minus. So Hg plus 1, S2 minus. Crisscross would give me Hg, well, this should be a 1, 2S. Silver sulfate, silver is plus 1, SO4, 2 minus, Ag plus 1, SO4, 2 minus, crisscross would give me Ag2, SO4, iron 2, Fe2 plus, and S2 minus would be Fe2 plus, S2 minus, crisscross would just be FES and the last one iron 3 sulfide Fe3 plus S2 minus to give me Fe2 S3 